Welcome back to TYT Sports, everybody. So, changing any championship outcome, we have a crystal ball here. Francis, show me your crystal ball. <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way. Uh, and you can change any one. I have four championship so outcomes. So your ball is like this size. Through across any sport, it's a huge ball. Uh, through any sport, you can change the outcome of a championship game. It could be a play that decided the outcome, but regardless, whatever happens, uh, the team who won in that situation becomes the team who loses, and all those free shirts that went to kids in need actually, actually mean that those teams won. Actually, we're correct. Francis uh, Max. Here's my thoughts on this, Jason. I think it's impossible to do this without bias. Because, oh, yes. God, I have so much bias yeah, in mind. But it, it was like, it, I don't remember when you spoke to me, like, bias aside, I'm like, well, even if it's not your team that's involved, you still favor one of the teams over the other. That's why you're changing the situation. Or you favor one scenario over another. What I tried to do is make it what would be, like, not the best situation the for each sport. Maybe not even the fairer situation, but just what would have made either historic moments or great storylines right. outside. Obviously, any team who wins a championship is a great storyline, but of course there's bias. To get the biased ones out of the way really quick, yeah. anytime the Mets lost the World Series, the Giants lost the Super Bowl, and the Knicks made it to the NBA Finals, just switch all of those to winning, and I'm I, happy. That's my first one. Is the 2003 <laughs> UEFA Cup, as it's now called, the Europa League, Celtic versus Jose Mourinho's Porto in the Europa League Final, UEFA Cup Final in Seville. Celtic lost. We took the game into extra time. We had an amazing comeback. Henrik Larsson carried the team on his back. We have our uh, rash. Put the team on his back. Center back, though. Bobo Baldi, make a horrendous tackle. If you want to know what Kimbo Slice would have looked like in a football jersey, look at Bobo Baldi. Humongous. Kimbo, Bobo Baldi. Yeah. Rest in, uh, peace. rest in peace, Kimbo. Made a, a rash tackle, got himself sent off, and we fell apart. And I cried for seven days straight. I'm sorry about that, but what, what about another championship outcome? So I've, I've got a real one that I think, it is still biased though, but I think that it was harsh. Um, do you remember the 1999 Ryder Cup? Yeah, like, you remember, like the back of my hand. Do you remember Justin Leonard's like 45 foot putt? Actually, yes I do. <laughs> do you remember what the US did in typical US fashion? Before Jose Maria, uh, uh, Jose Maria Olathabo had the ability to make the putt, which could have halved that game, they all ran across his line, celebrated and just got it in his face before he could even set up his putt to potentially take the game further. But no. Justin Leonard puts it. Everyone sub The wives are on the green. The fucking wives. Oh, we're celebrating. They never won it yet. But they yeah. celebrated. And that was unfair. Not just for bias, never but for Ryder sportsmanship. Cup. I would have had the Ryder Cup go to Europe that year. Uh, or Thabo, Ollie, as we were calling him, would have just sunk his putt. See you later, Justin Leonard. I don't have to see you with those off. Do you remember those shirts? They had photos on the shirts. You know, the, the, I'll make this really quick. The uh, funniest thing about the Ryder Cup is that because golf is a solo game, there's like stories, at least according to like Rick Riley, who used to write for Sports Illustrated, a few other guys who have said it and even went on talk shows. There's guys who have like are puking before the Ryder Cup begins because they're so nervous to play on a team because team, yeah. they're not ever used to playing Having people on a rely team. On you, like, they only get to be mad at themselves, yeah. maybe their caddy in a way, but when you have like your country on the line, they get really nervous. I found that amazing because yeah. you never really hear those kind of stories. Uh, that's a good one, Francis. I like that one. Uh, some championship outcomes I'd like to, to, to reverse. Uh, 2001 Sixers versus Lakers. I mean, if Allen AI. Iverson took the Lakers down. The Lakers who didn't lose one single game until game one of the NBA Finals to Allen Iverson in overtime. Here's a guy who was averaging, putting up 35 points, 37 points, 42 points in those games. But Shaq was simply too much to handle, even for Dikembe Mutombo, who was a little bit aging at that point. And, I mean, outside of Allen Iverson, Eric Snow? Is that a joke? Eric Snow, I think, averaged six assists. I think he was the only one who averaged more than one assist. Actually, AI had about three in that series. Uh, three assists per game in that series. Everybody else was not passing the ball. The game was, get it in AI's hands or we don't win anything. <laughs> uh, some of those, the first two games were very competitive. The Sixers won the first one. So, yeah, let's give AI a title. That's pretty awesome. 2009. This is really easy. Uh, although Dwight Howard went Superman in the Eastern Conference Finals, we never got a LeBron versus Kobe NBA Finals. Yeah, two of the best of their generations colliding at pretty much the peak, like not a peak time, but it would have been an amazing time. Uh, the Cavs lost that series in six games to Dwight Howard. If the Cavs won that, we would have got LeBron Kobe finals. Just that alone. So it's not, oh, it's not a championship outcome. It's the Eastern Conference finals outcome, but it still would have been interesting. It would have set up a better championship outcome for what you're thinking. Two last ones. Uh, Silva defeats Weidman at UFC 162. You know, he got 
cocky. He got caught. Silva's career literally fell off the face yes, of the cliff after that. The second UFC, uh, the second fight against Weidman, his ankle and leg snapped in 15 directions, and it was disgusting. But does that happen maybe if Silva just takes out Weidman? No, Weidman, they don't get a rematch. Weidman just becomes another contender in the, in the standings, and Silva's reign continues, and we get more Anderson Silva at his peak. Uh, and then lastly, I think this is the easiest one out of all of them. Gordon Hayward's half-court heave against Duke in the 2010 NCAA championship. While Chris Jenkins' shot for Villanova will go down as one of the greatest finals and championship shots in NCAA basketball history when he hit that three, this was a half-court heave that looked like it was going in for a number eight seed Butler, which just proves the tournament status in the NCAA that really anybody can make it. Uh, they lost two straight finals, but... Duke has enough freaking championships. Nobody cares if Duke doesn't. Man, I can't think of one person in the world outside of Duke diehards that would go, sure, you know what? You can't take away another championship for Duke. Duke doesn't need all of them. Gordon Hayward's half-court heave looked like it was going yeah. in. I think there's one four, that we, I think, four championship outcomes I'd change. I think there was one that we both didn't really even mention, which everyone was just let down by, was at least have one punch land between Mayweather and Pacquiao. One punch? One punch just on one someone's punch. face. That's all I'm looking for. Change it. Would so you change it so Pacquiao beats Mayweather? I mean... Like by knockout, not by decision, but by like a knockout. I would change it so that they... I'm, I'm, now we'll just completely... The crystal ball has just evolved into a crystal... Sage. Sage, whatever it is. Um, it's a boss. I would have them fight each other five years earlier. That's the outcome I would change. But who would win? I think at five years earlier, I, think, I still think Mayweather would have won, but I would have mm. liked to have seen Pacquiao fight him in his prime, both in the prime, but... That's just me wanting to change everything and anything. I know what our EP would have changed. The All together. Never Blake draft Blake, Blake Griffin. Griffin. Yeah, Blake Griffin, never draft. <laughs> never draft Blake Griffin. <laughs> but for his five straight titles. Yeah, there's All many right. more, though. There's tons. I'm sure the comments will let us know which ones they would have had. I mean, I'm still trying to even think. Is there other ones? Well, there's all the ones from, like, the 80s and 90s. I'm sure there's people, like, you know, get, get Barkley a ring. That's a good one to change. Uh, you know, maybe Jordan. Uh, get know, Messi a World Cup. Get Messi a World Cup. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. We'll leave it at this. That free kick that Messi had in the 93rd minute. Against uh, Germany? Goes, it goes in. Or 122nd yeah. minute. Yeah, that goes in. Just for the legacy Memorable. Of it. Just for the legacy. The That'd legend. Those are all recent, but I mean, yeah. for the most part, that's at least since 2000. So since 2000 or even longer than that, comment below what you think about the championship outcome that you would change. Do you like mine? Do you like Francis's? Have one for your personal. This is how Deadspin kind of ranked them. They did one for your personal one, so you have like a biased one based on the team you like, and then one that you think would make the best storyline or a great headline historic moment in the comments section below. If they're really good, we'll revisit this clip, and we'll, we'll take your comments so we can make another clip out of it. At Francis underscore Maxwell, at Jason Rubin 91 at TYT Sports on Twitter. Throw the pen. Drop the pen. Oh. It was so delayed. We changed that it was outcome. So I got to see him not catch it in person, and then it came on the screen because it delayed. Can we changed that outcome. <laughs> <laughs>